over the past few days in Toilet Tower Defense, a lot of our partners have been doing challenges where they spin a wheel to decide what units they use. All their channels will be linked in the description because I want to try this challenge and see what terrible strategies emerge. As you can see, I went to Google and found the best looking wheel that I could find and put all 29 towers into it. So to figure out a strategy, since you can equip five units, we ought to spin it five times. I'm not looking forward to whatever strategy we get, but we have to figure it out. All right, laser cameraman car. That's not even bad. TV man, I guess that will be good for the beginning. Speaker helicopter, that's not too great. Oh, medic cameraman. This is no. Okay, good. Yeah, it's medic cameraman. Actually, the dark speaker man might have been better if it landed on that. But let's spin it one more time and find out our last unit for this strategy. And it is the normal cameraman. I'm not gonna lie, the strategy is actually pretty solid for being completely random. Like, I mean, we have three units that are really cheap for the beginning of the game, which isn't too terrible. We don't have a scientist, though, which is kind of bad. But at least we have the medic to heal things, and the laser camera and car should be able to do enough DPS, I think. I don't know if 7,000 DPS is, when it's maxed out is gonna be enough to beat Toilet HQ, but let's try it out anyways. Starting out with the normal cameraman isn't gonna end too well, so I think we're gonna have to start out with the TV man, and I'm putting him all the way in the back, because we're gonna have to upgrade him. And I don't know if we can make it past the beginning. I literally need 200 to make it past. To be completely honest, I just need that laser camera and car, and then we're gonna be chilling. Like, I just need to get that down and upgrade it as much as I can, but we're gonna have to focus on the TV man first. And he only does 20 damage at the moment, so I don't even know if he'll be able to get them. Well, I mean, he does 40 damage per second. He, some of them might get past. <laughs> yep, yeah, there, most of them are getting past. Well, that is not a good start. First 200 upgrade, done. 400 upgrade will make him 250 damage per second, so he can handle all those toilets and small toilets and stuff. We can actually, like, let's see how fast we can make it. I think we can get those small toilets, but if he fails me, then I'll know what we're gonna do. Oh, yeah, he can actually get them all. He just turns a little bit when there's a second one, but he's chilling. Can he handle the large toilets, though? They have a bit more health, and since they're slower, it's still pretty much completely fine. I'm gonna skip. We only have 200, and I need 300 for the cameraman car. There's some glasses toilets here that have a lot of health, so I'm just gonna skip to wave 5 and put the laser cameraman car, like, right here. Alright, we have skipped. The laser cameraman car is down. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna set it to strongest so we can get those glasses toilets. I think the glasses toilets are gonna be getting past. At least some of the small toilets are getting past, but the police toilets are coming up soon. I need this 400 upgrade if we're gonna get those glasses toilets and spider toilet and boss toilets, so that's gonna be bad. Oh wait, we don't even do that much damage to the police toilets. Uh-oh. Got 400 upgrade though. Let's go! We're gonna get the spider toilets! Ooh, 800 is kinda a bad price. We're, I don't know how we're gonna get that by the time the boss toilet gets over here. If I sell the TV man, we're only getting 200, because that's like half of how much we spent on him so far. Boss toilet is right here. Good news, we got the spire toilets. The bad news, the boss way is on his way to Toilet City and it's gonna die if he gets there. So my only option at this point is to sell both of those things, get the laser cameraman car, upgrade him once, and just hope for the best. I mean, we can get a second one that is level one. All right, this strategy was too bad for the beginning of the game. We're dead on wave eight. Let's try again. Okay, our five units are... Oh, no! <laughs> It was old ninja cameraman. Laser cameraman car, though. That's not too bad. As long as we can upgrade him this time. TV woman. Okay, that's a better start for AoE. Medic cameraman again. Okay, it's decent. Large speaker, man. That's good for early DPS, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Engineer cameraman. No way. No way, bro. We just got the rarest unit on the wheel to equip. All right, this strategy is looking a lot better than last time. We have two good endgame units, the engineer cameraman and the laser cameraman car. So I think we can win this. I'm feeling pretty positive about this strategy. We're gonna start out with an engineer cameraman, and I'm gonna place him right here to absorb stuns later. Because engineer cameraman can hold off until the boss toilet is here, and after that, we just need to upgrade the laser cameraman car, maybe get a few TV women to slow everything down. I don't know if I should try using the large speaker man, though, because, like, it might not be worth it at the end. Each camera rover can absorb 10 small toilets on the first wave, because, like, 500 health and the small toilets are 50 health. And I'm not gonna skip, because the more we skip, the less camera rovers will have time to spawn. I'm gonna be sitting here for a while, just waiting for all the camera rovers to get to the oncoming toilets. And then after this wave, we can get the 200 upgrade, and now the engineer cameraman has 1,000 health. I need the 400 upgrade as fast as possible, because then he's gonna do 5,000 damage with the camera toilets, and after that, I'll save up for the TV woman to do damage to all the small things, so the boss toilet is the main one getting hit by all the camera stuff. I did the quantum mechanics math in my head and figured out it would be a better idea to skip the wave and 
upgrade it so that more 5,000 health spawn rather than just waiting for them to take out the glasses toilets. Like, if we get the upgrade faster, I don't know, but 5,000 health now! That is a lot of small toilets heading straight for the camera toilet, but in my opinion, it's kind of satisfying just watching, like, your unit just destroying a whole bunch of smaller <laughs> units. Like, what? Look at that! You just got them all. And we got all the spider toilets. Okay, we're gonna definitely be able to handle a boss toilet. Now, I did have problems with the strategy before when I was upgrading scientist cameraman, which, I mean, it's better later in the game. Yeah, boss toilet has nothing on us. We just got him like that. And we're about to get the 600 upgrade, which will make him have 10,000 health. Well, I should probably actually get the TV woman instead. We'll place her right here at the corner. And we should probably upgrade her once, but she just slows everything down, which is really good. Now, only the tank is strong enough or, like, tall enough to actually hit the buzzsaw toilet. So we're gonna need something for that buzzsaw toilet wave, which is why I'm gonna be bringing in the laser cameraman car right here. And we're gonna be spending everything until wave 10 on the laser cameraman car. We really need to get him OP fast. This is totally going better than last round, though. Last round, we only made it to wave 8 because of how long it took the boss toilet to get to Toilet City, but we already got the boss toilet, so we're chilling. I'm already at 450. We just need 800 and then he does 500, or not 500. He does 1,250 damage per second, which theoretically should be enough to get the buzzsaw toilet. Okay, we're gonna need more than 800. Easy 800 upgrade, 1,500 for the final upgrade, though. Or wait, no, that's not the final upgrade, but that still is gonna be 4,000 damage per second. Oh wait, this is the buzzsaw toilet wave. Oh no. Oh no, this, this is not not looking great, but at least we're not gonna have to deal with the spider toilets right now. Oh wait, it actually is! It's low enough to hit the camera toilets, let's go! And we already got it low, and bro, it's only 300 health, and, and he's gonna hit it back here, we're fine, we're chilling! I'm just worried about these three boss toilets, because they do not stop for anything, they just go straight. I'm a little worried about that, so I think we're gonna have to get a 1,500 upgrade here in a minute. I'm just gonna spam click the upgrade button, because like right when he gets that boss toilet, we're gonna have enough. And and there we go, 1,500 upgrade. He's getting that other boss toilet really fast. I don't know what wave it is, but one of the waves soon is gonna have the really strong thing. So I'm about to get 2,500, and then we can max out the laser cameraman car. 7,000 damage per second. I mean, this is the wave with a whole bunch of boss toilets, so it's gonna be worth it anyways. There's a 2,500 upgrade, 10 more range, and a lot of damage. I think next we'll go for the TV woman upgrade to ensure she can get all the normal toilets, and she has a little bit more range. Then we're just gonna focus on getting the engineer cameraman tank. Because let's be honest, even when that UFO toilet spawns, if we have tanks, it can't do anything against that one. I wonder if this strategy is going to be better than the AI-generated strategy that I did that one video on. Wow, we got the dual blade already. We're going really good. I upgraded in two more times, so now we just got to wait for 4,000 to get that tank upgrade. Ooh, this is the boss toilet 2.0 and multiple buzzsaw toilets around. The buzzsaws aren't really a problem, though. We're, we're getting them pretty easily. And a lot of it is the TV woman just doing a lot of... Of slowing everything down. Uh oh, they stunned the laser cameraman. They stunned the laser cameraman. That's not great. The laser cameraman is stunned and the boss toilet has 97k health. This is, uh, at least the camera toilet got the buzz saws though. Uh, that's the least we can ask for. But the boss toilet is, um, boss toilet is still going strong and I don't even know if the camera toilets can hit him. Can? Oh, he, he can't. They're too, uh oh, uh oh. This is a very serious threat to the, the I don't know, that we need to do something now. He can hit them on this corner, I think. No, he only he's still 9.4k, bro. Alright, we're upgrading him twice. We, I just placed a laser cameraman. This is very detrimental to my savings, but um, at least, okay, I'm just gonna skip, please, 1,500. I don't know if he can do it. I don't know if he's too far to get stunned or close enough to get, please don't stun, please don't. Oh, okay, he didn't get stunned. 1,900. No way, we just clutched the boss toilet 2.0 right at the end. Alright, we're, we're fine. We're totally fine. Oh, no. The flying rocket launcher toilet is back for more. Okay, I have the medic though. I should be using the medic. I think I'm gonna sell the laser cameraman car back here. And now we- Oh, the UFO toilet's here. Luckily, I just got tanks because the UFO toilet is inbound. And he is not looking happy right now. This is the biggest threat to the W, but the tanks are gonna get him, my hope. Luckily, is that like weird thing that just like dangles down there that could hit the tanks. All right, perfect medic cameraman placement. He can heal both these guys once every four seconds. Which is pretty much how long sun time is, so that's not great. We should upgrade them. All right, they got the UFO toilet. We're chilling just two vacuum toilets that the tanks can easily take care of. Upgraded the medic once. Now he can cover all this range, which I think I'll be placing a second laser cameraman car in. Oh, that's quite a bit of stuff getting past, but that's why we have the tanks. Oh, this is the two UFO 
toilet wave. I don't like this one. I'm putting another TV woman right here just to stun anything that spawns. Oh no, the rocket launcher toilets are stunning these guys so they can't even attack the UFO toilets anymore. Well, tanks is back up like always. Bro, if we didn't get the engineer cameraman, we would have lost already. <laughs> Anyways, 1k upgrade on the medic cameraman so he can heal something once every two seconds. Upgraded the second laser cameraman car again to the max level. And we're getting a second engineer. I'm gonna try maxing out as soon as possible. But we're already on wave 25 with this random strategy that I used a wheel to generate. Let's go. Just to once again make everything slower, like right when it spawns. I'm putting a TV woman right here, like right on the spawn. Two max out tanks. And since the TV woman isn't really that much upgraded, oh, what? she disappeared to one of the vacuum toilets. Uh oh. But since she isn't that much upgraded, a lot of things are able to just get past. And then the TV, the large cameraman cars just focus on them. And the boss toilet is here too. Well, at least I got a second tank. So that will probably take care of them. Max out the medic cameraman, and we're also gonna upgrade the TV woman again. And start working on upgrading some more laser cameraman cars. Second medic cameraman, twice upgraded just to do more healing, and I'm gonna try upgrading this TV woman a bit more. I maxed out the TV woman right here, because when anything weird spawns, that is like a lot of something, so that these guys can focus on the strongest things. She just like wipes them out really fast. Uh oh, wave 37 is one of the hardest waves if you don't really have any AoE attackers, because of the amount of vacuum toilets so right now we're not doing too well we might actually lose this one but we're, we're fighting against so many things that are stunning everything and um we're not doing too great the tanks are gonna have to clutch though the tanks are really gonna have to clutch right now yeah things are making it pass with hundreds of thousands of health i don't think we have enough tanks to be honest i'm just gonna skip and hope that we can get this upgrade but um <laughs> stuff's getting really close oh no oh no i I thought we were gonna win this, but we're on wave 38. We were so close. And the flying rocket launcher toilet is here to end it all. Yep, there we go. Well, we made it to wave 38, so this strategy is not that bad. You can probably win all the other maps with this strategy. It's just the laser camera and car isn't that good. But as always, subscribe with notifications on, like the video, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.